welcome to the video guys. Today I'm out in the orchard. See, we got all of our fruit trees back here. Alright, so let's get started. So, uh, we have a mature orchard. Most of our trees are mature. Uh, we did just plant a bunch of new ones uh, the past couple of years. You want to plant new trees every couple of years just in case you have some die. Like uh, that dude, he looks, he's kind of sad. Uh, that was an uh, old pear tree that died. Uh, we lost a bunch of trees this year. Uh, we lost a yellow apple tree and a green apple or red apple tree, a green apple tree, and a yellow apple tree and a peach tree. But this is our pear tree. This is our best pear tree that we have. This thing's he's just huge. You can see we got little pears on them. Kind of see. And this this tree is just the reason why it's kind of looks sad like that because this tree just gets so loaded with pears that it just the branches just all bend down to the ground because the branches that are all the way up there they'll bend down uh, when I do a video in the fall on fruit you'll see what I mean but uh, then we have uh, this is our granny smith apple tree that's a nice little tree uh, that, that tree has huge apples on it every year but um but yeah I just want to kind of show you guys the orchard it's nice uh, you can see our lean trees uh, we hit them with the mower when they were younger and it bent them so they're kind of all bent and crooked but most of them are uh we're gonna go over to this is these are just our red delicious uh we have four red delicious apple trees matured so we get we get a decent amount of fruit and then we usually can it or we make uh, like apple pie and peach pie pear crisp and all that good stuff uh, this is all of our new trees uh we have our peach tree right there over there we have uh, the little tiny one oh, farthest over is a uh, cherry tree, uh, another peach tree, and then we have a pear back there. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where, that one, right there. That's a pear tree. Uh, we have a decent amount of pear trees, but we just lost one. So every time we lose one, we plant a new one. We usually buy them from Tholins Garden Center uh, at about six foot, six to eight foot tall. That's usually when we buy them, uh, when they're about that size. but. Now, how do you, to keep uh, Japanese beetles, those stupid beetles off your apple trees, is we don't spray our trees like chemical. We get uh, Dawn dish soap and we spray them. We put it in a sprayer with Dawn dish soap and water and it works really well to keep beetles off of them. So that's what we do. It works really well. Uh, most of our the tree that the, really, the bugs really get on is the yellow apple because it's sweet. But um, this is one of our, we have two nut trees. This one, and there's another one that's kind of buried right now. But these, those are pecan and almond tree. Uh, we planted those at about, they're about uh, three or four inches. We planted those about three years ago, so they're getting big. Uh, right now they're probably only about three feet, so. Well, this one's three feet. The almond tree is only about like a couple feet. If it's still alive, well, I don't, it is still alive. This little dude right here got a couple leaves on him he's kind of buried in all this grass we gotta start taking care of him our post got hit by the mower but yeah he's just a little dude walnut tree. And then we have our walnut tree and another walnut tree i don't know why they're climbing back here but they are we have walnut trees all around the property this is a quick little view of the orchard we do apples and i'll do videos on when harvest time comes around and uh all the apples and pears and Everything that falls, we throw it over the pasture fence, over to the cows, and the cows just eat it up. They come usually come run to back here when I walk back here uh, towards fall. Yeah. <coughs> uh, we're gonna warp over to the pumpkin garden. All right, we warped over to the melon, pumpkin, pepper garden. Uh, this is just—it looks kind of trashy right now, but uh, you can see how we have a mesh here. This just keeps—we uh, don't have to worry about grass and all that. But we got our pepper. Um, which pepper is this? This is a flat, sorry, <laughs> my crutches. Uh, we have a couple of these planted. There we go. Uh, Keystone, this is a uh, green pepper giant. So we have a couple of those planted there, and there, and there. That one is a not, uh, that one is a jalapeno or jalapeno. <laughs> I just call them jalapenos because it's funny. But uh, we have, this is mainly where we do all of our peppers at. Uh, most of our peppers and then uh, a lot of you are probably wondering this is an old swing set set 
uh, we grow hops on it. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what hops are, but hops are what they make beer out of. Uh, we don't make our own beer, but we give the buds. Uh, when the hops bud, it's like a, I don't, it's just like a big uh, kind of like cone shape of, it's just a big bud. And you take those and we usually, we give them to somebody and he makes his own beer from them and then he gives us some. So it's pretty cool. Um, it was, it's kind of more of just a novelty crop. Uh, we, we don't really do much with them. You can see they're just like a vine. Um, right now they're they're just starting to grow uh, every year by the end of the year fall they are covered this whole thing you can see where the all the extra dead stuff is uh, we leave those up we usually we rip as much down as we can but we leave some of them up so the new ones can climb it but um, so that's what we have on the two we have two swing set sets we have one over there and then we have one here that's what we grow there uh, it's like I said it's just more for novel novelty um, but yeah and then we have some squash and melons over here uh, they just started to plant and we do uh, cardboard we do a cart uh, yeah no these are the biodegradable it's like a uh, square pair or oh, I can't talk a paper square sheet we put it down and then we cut little holes in it like I said just to keep the grass and the weeds out so we don't you can see we don't have to weed this we don't even mess with the thing but as you can see on this side um, that's kind of all just trashed um, we usually do melons or over in that section too but this is mainly where we do our melons but and there's a tarp down here but you can see that they got through so that's that um, this is where we do our sweet corn you can see we have uh, we don't have any sweet corn planted right or no we do have sweet corn planted uh, it's not up yet we just planted it about a couple days ago and then we also planted sunflowers here so and then you can see that's terrible but this is usually where we do our squashes and uh, cantaloupe in, in uh, this section, this kind of middle section. Um, that is one of my rabbit boxes. That's for that's all lettuce and uh, vegetables for rabbits. And then on that box we don't have planted yet. That box. We don't have it planted yet. I don't know what we're going to plant there. Pumping late because it's already almost June so we might, we'll probably just make it another lettuce box or something. But that's what we have planted there. And then these are some tomatoes, some of the tomatoes that we have. Our big tomato garden, our tomato gardens all the way on the other side of the property. We have two big gardens, and that's what these two are. Big gardens, but um, but yeah, we have our tomato plants here. Uh, we just have a couple of them. We have them spaced out because we didn't know what to plant here. Uh, we didn't do big with cantaloupe this year. Uh, I planted a, most of our cantaloupe, and uh, cantaloupe, watermelons, and gourds are over next to the in the goat pen because the goats won't eat the leaves and they um and then they're next also next to the chicken coop so the chickens can eat all the bugs that go on them because that's that's where we do our pumpkins because the goats don't eat the leaves and then the chickens will eat all the bugs off of them and get in there and scratch around and whatnot but over here we have well we have another um hop and then more tomatoes tomatoes and then uh yeah these are all tomatoes over here actually i think yeah, we don't have any um, peppers over here. This this whole side where these cages are, are all tomatoes. Ugh, I'm gonna try to grab this. All right, uh, these are the brandy wine tomatoes. Brandy wine. Uh, we do keep all of our seeds out of our best tomatoes. If I can put the thing back in, Jesus, can't even get it back in. Uh, where does it go? Just had it in there. There we go stuck back in but um we keep all of our seeds out of our best plants the plants that do the best we keep the seeds out of the like the biggest tomatoes we'll keep all the seeds for ourselves we have our entire tool shed is full of seeds all kinds of seeds we have we keep all of our seeds out of our best produce our best stock um but these are all tomatoes over here uh, we have a hose out here because we have a water tank we're going to bring out here pretty soon uh, more towards midsummer when it starts drying out. Right now it's spring and we have an abundance of water. But um, yeah, that's just kind of a quick view of, we just call it the melon pumpkin garden because this is what it originally was, is just four melons and pumpkins. But now it's became a little bit of everything else garden. But And we didn't do pumpkins and melons in it this year because, I don't know, we just planted them by the goats. We figured might as well do it. So the goats don't mess with them. They're pretty good with it. But. Um, just more tomatoes and peppers and more miscellaneous stuff for farmers markets 
So let's warp over, warp over to the main garden. Over in the main, we're over in the main garden. Uh, this is a lettuce box, lettuce and herb box. Um, we also have herbs like in our flower beds. We plant mint, spearmint, uh, peppermint, uh, rosemary, and all kinds of stuff. We usually plant them, as you can kind of see over there. Uh, we like around our uh, where the trees are. We'll plant them there. But uh, we have some strawberries in here too. And then this is just all herbs, lettuce. Uh, green onions and all kinds of stuff. And then we have our garlic here. Uh, we have a nice stone wall. Uh, all of our beds in this garden are raised, as you can see. They're all raised garden beds. And this is our um, compost to make compost. We lock it in here. We'll lock our table scraps and stuff in here. You can see there's not much in there right now. But uh, we used to use this a lot. We don't really use it anymore. Uh, we still do use it, just not as much. Uh, we have our rhubarb some rhubarb over there we have some more rhubarb over here there and um, what we found what works really well is we use the rhubarb leaves because you can't eat them uh, they're toxic you can't feed them to rabbits rabbits don't like them uh, goats don't eat them so we use them as a bedding to kind of keep weeds out and whatnot and we have our walkway little walkway and step stool and everything but we use all old, you can see, it's, well this isn't old plywood, this is just uh, some plywood that we had that was laying around that we used to keep the weeds out and whatnot so we don't have to weed whack this every two days. Uh, we have snap peas here on our little trellis and everything else and then, oh, we actually might have some strawberries ready, holy smokes. Wow, we do. Oh my gosh. Didn't even know we had strawberries ready. We have some strawberries over here that I didn't know. Look at this. Strawberries ready already. Mm. I can't believe they're ready already. It's not even June yet. We already have strawberries. This is amazing. I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So they're just little dudes. Little strawberries. Mm. So good. We have some big dudes in here too. I can't believe we already have strawberries ready. That's incredible. Uh, we we redid. I gotta pick up my crutches. We redid our strawberry patch. Uh, we used to have a whole bed full of strawberries, but we redid it because we didn't want them there. So now we just have them kind of all spaced out and kind of everywhere at the moment. Uh, there's not really a distinct spot for them anymore. There used to be, but this this row right here is peppers. These are all peppers, jalapenos, uh, red bells, ghost peppers. Uh, green bell, orange bell, yellow bell peppers, all peppers. So that's kind of where we do our peppers. That's that's where we usually do our um, melons and pumpkins and stuff. But now that's all manure. That's all manure from the livestock. Uh, mainly rabbit poop. Rabbit poop is really, really good fertilizer for crops, for a uh, bunch of other kind of stuff. But we threw all of our dead grass on top of it, so it just all soaks in. And then we have our potatoes, potato box. Now how we do our potatoes is we do it in a box like that. That box is actually ready to be retired, but we do a, we build a box, like a really nice heavy duty box with handles on it. And when the potatoes are ready, we get the tractor and we lift up the bucket and then the potatoes all just kind of fall out. And then we just move the box to the next spot and throw all the dirt back in it for next year. So we keep all the little tiny potatoes for planting next year and then everything else. But that's how we do our potatoes. We have uh, red potatoes, sweet potatoes, and I want to get Hawaiian potatoes, but it's too late for that now. But more rhubarb. And then we have asparagus right here, uh, right there. We just picked it all, but um, we like just picked it all, I think like two days ago. And then you can see we have some uh, random, we have our random things. We have dill in here. You can see the dill and we got, this. I believe this is spearmint. Yeah, this is spearmint. Uh, we just have all this kind of stuff. Like I said, we plant it in our garden beds, like for our flower. Well, we don't really do flowers and stuff on our property, but um, we do it all around the trees and stuff we plant. So basically the spearmint and all that just grows wild. Like a lot of, most of our um, weed, they're not really weeds. It's mostly dill and spearmint. They grow like crazy. But um, then we have some cabbage over here. Some cabbages. So, and then we have more on onions planted over here too, red onions. And um, I don't remember, is that a blueberry? 
I think we have blueberries planted. I believe that's what those are, blueberries. We also, you can also probably see some milkweed in there. We always save the milkweed because we're trying to help out the monarch butterflies because they are extinct. So uh, we have milkweed that grows randomly, but we usually leave it. Uh, most of the time we'll leave it. And then um, in the pasture, pasture, in the pasture, uh, it's we don't have any livestock in it right now, but in that pasture, we always have milkweed. We always leave it and it grows up around our flagpole too. See our flagpole. Um, we always leave it because we're trying to just kind of help out the monarch butterflies because they are kind of extinct and getting there. So we just leave it because we like to see them anyway. Um, over here we have more peppers, uh, a lot of peppers actually. It's all we do. We're usually really big with peppers, and then um, these are all of our tomatoes. In this half section where the big strawberries were, uh, the, the half section are tomatoes, and then. Over here we have our radishes, and on the very, very end we have peppers. So, yeah, just kind of going over the garden, and then we have potatoes. These are all of our more potatoes and carrots. Uh, carrots are over here. Carrots. And then we have some dill. We have, just, I think that box is just weeds, honestly. But it just looks like it's all dill. And then here we have uh, beans black turtle beans planted in here Oops. get the wrapper on and then a bunch of other stuff but yeah you can see it's just it's a nice little garden all raised beds um, a lot of you are probably like oh how do, I don't want to build a raised bed they're actually really easy to build um, this is I'll show you this these are some of our older boxes we're gonna redo them redo them here pretty soon but as you can see our boxes are just boards, and then we just put stakes in all on it, and then that's raised beds. Uh, as you can see, we did with that one too. The one over there, you can kind of see it a little bit better. But um, that new one where our herb boxes for all of our uh, lettuce and cabbage and um, all of our uh, vegetable, like leafy vegetables, those are all, um, we just redid that box. We made it a little bit higher. So you can see it all looks new and all this doesn't look as new, but. Um, that's that. We have our little utility sink. That's just kind of where we throw things. But um, we're planting some more uh, vegetables here pretty soon. But snap peas. And we got it all. We got a lot, a lot of vegetables. Um, we have people come out here every once in a while and pick some for themselves. So yeah, it's just a, it's a cute little garden. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, some tomatoes in here and. Uh, we have cucumbers over in the other garden and uh, the uh, melon garden. I didn't show you guys them. I just, I just forgot about them. But you guys, but we got nice. Look at that. Look how nice and healthy that is. Uh, that's not for rabbits. My, like I said, my rabbit box is over on the other side. Uh, this stuff is for personal use, just for us. And then this whole box is. But if we do have anything left over that we don't need and we need to trim it, then we will feed it to the rabbits. But most of the time, it's for us. But that's kind of the garden. I just wanted to go over everything, all of our cute little garden and what we do. So that's kind of the end of today's video. Uh, it's, it just got done raining and it's a little windy as you can probably hear. But that's just kind of how we do our garden and everything else is kind of disorganized right now, but we're working on it. It's kind of hard to do sometimes because like this year we were really late into planting and getting everything in the ground. Because we usually start our seeds in the house and the, under the grill lights and everything. But well, that's it for today's video. Uh, just kind of a quick tutorial, or not really a tutorial, but just kind of a view of the garden and what our garden is. So it's a really nice garden. It really provides, really, it really, really provides. We have so much canned stuff, but all right, that's it. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys later.